Hello, my name is Tracy Allen and I want to welcome you to Cooking with Some Friends. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. We're going to have family in to play cards tonight and have a, a little get together. And so I've done a couple of things. We had um, a ham for lunch that I had baked. And so I'm gonna make some ham salad, but I'm gonna show you a recipe too for some ham salad roll-ups um, that instead of just making ham salad, you could choose this option. So um, in my bowl, I have about eight ounces of ham that I've taken with my um, KitchenAid on the, and the grinder that I have for it, and I've, we've ground that baked ham up. And then to that, I'm going to add the equivalent of um, one egg and a tablespoon of sweet pic pickle relish. And I'm also going to put in, and you can put in red onion or green onion, whichever you like. And I've also sliced up some celery in my bowl. So I have those to put into it. And then I have a combination of mayonnaise, uh, soft cream cheese, and some mustard. And I'm gonna put that in, and I'm gonna mix all this together. And then I'm gonna spread this over the top of one of my tortillas and I'm gonna fold that up, roll it up, um, and put it in the refrigerator in saran wrap and then cut it into sections. Now, uh, you can do this too if you want to. You can just put it all in a food processor and pulse it, um, but I would rather do it this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep mixing this until all my mayo is mixed in and then I'll come back and show you the spreading of it. And it's going to seem pretty thick for a ham salad. Not, It doesn't have as much mayo as I would put in it if I'm making regular ham salad because you don't want it to ooze out of your roll-ups. So I can go ahead and finish this while we're here. Okay. And if you want it with a little more mayo, add it. If you want a little more mustard, add it. But um, we're not big mustard fans. I like it, but my husband doesn't. So then I'm gonna take my tortilla. And my ham salad. And spread it on there. And you don't want it to be th too thick because then it'll just come out when you roll it. And this will make anywhere, depending on the size of the tortilla you use, it'll make anywhere from uh, oh, 8 to 24, just depending on how thick and the size of your tortilla. Okay, now that it's spread, I'm going to go ahead and roll it. Roll it as tightly as you can without pushing the ham salad too much. And then I'll go ahead, like I said, and wrap this in saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator to set, and then I'll cut it into sections. And then I'm ready for my next one. And I'll do the same thing. I don't know about all of you, but we love to take leftover ham and we can just have it in sandwiches, but we like it to make it into ham salad and then um, that ham salad, a lot of times we'll even just eat with crackers, not even in a sandwich, so. And our ham salad has pretty much the same ingredients. We don't put the cream cheese in and we don't put onions in our regular ham salad or mustard just because of personal preference, but. Okay. Roll this one, now they're ready to both go in the refrigerator and saran wrap, and then I'll slice them up before company comes. Mm -hmm. 
Hello and welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. Um, we decided, decided yeah, I can't even talk already, um, decided to try a recipe for dirty root beer floats. And um, we're going to try it, but we're going to also do some just regular root beer floats for the kids or Dr. Pepper floats or whichever kind of pop they want in their float. So I'm going to have Jake help me. He's going to put three to four scoops of ice cream in each, one. In each cup. And we're just going to do two for now. Thing. Do you want to scoop it? Just a normal scoop. Well, I don't do normal scoops. You don't do normal scoops? No, my scoops are double scoops. I'll try to make it for the recipe. Say two to three? Yeah. Probably three. That's probably it's, a double. It's, it's, yeah. I'll go a little more on that one. Okay, one more scoop. One whole scoop? Yes. Good <clears throat> grief. Okay. And to that, we're going to add two ounces of... Hold that up. The rum chata. Rum chata. And then we're going to take some of our root beer and we're and going to, yes, we're going to slowly add about a half a bottle of root beer. You just said that about a bartender. Yeah. Okay. It's a little less than half, but that's okay. And no, that's okay. Okay, so there we have one of our rum chattas. Dirty, or dirty, dirty root beer floats. Yeah. I keep saying rum chattas. Rum chata is the alcohol that goes in it. Do you want to do this one with root beer? or? I don't care. I don't even like root beer floats. Will you drink it with a Coke? I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot with Coke. Katie and I can share one. Okay. And after this one, we're just doing regular root beer floats. Two ounces of the rum chata. You want Dr. Pepper in yours? So this wouldn't be a dirty root beer float, it'd be a dirty Coke float. Correct? <laughs> Coca-Cola. Okay. Some people may get the wrong idea of what are you saying. Look at that. There's something about the combination of soda and ice cream that I know. just throws me off. A and W ice cream or root beer. If you're gonna have root beer, it's some of the best. Stewart's okay. is the best. Okay. Those are our dirty root beer and dirty Coca-Cola floats. Thanks for joining us for this session of cooking with some friends. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And find us on Facebook at Cooking with Some Friends.